Mrs. von der Leyen, President of the European Commission, I wish to remind you what you said in your State of the Union speech in 2019. You said, and I quote, journalists are being targeted simply for doing their job. Some have been threatened, some beaten, and tragically, some murdered. Right here in our European Union, let me mention some of their names. Daphne Caruana Galizia, Jan Kutschak, Peter de Ries. The details of their stories may be different, but what they have in common is that they all fought and died for our right to be informed. Information is a public good. We must protect those who create transparency. That journey. Would not have said it better, I have to say. In that speech, you also announced the upcoming European Media Freedom Act. So now, my pledge please stick to your words and do not get sidelined by geopolitics, by realpolitik, by any wars that are at our frontiers. The future generations will judge you for having or not defended European democracy in a crucial moment or having given in to the Orwells and Kaczynski of Europe, which are in my mind the real enemies of Europe, do not stop spreading disinformation and hate. Dear Ursula von der Leyen, it is high time to name and shame the EU member states that do nothing or almost nothing to protect journalists, or even worse, that do something, that continue their smear campaigns against journalists and thereby give the idea to the citizens that this is a new normal. It is high time to put the need to sustain journalism as a public good, as you just said it yourself, on the EU's agenda, independently of its legal remedy. It's a question of to be or not to be in the long run. Thanks for supporting Commissioner Jourova and all the real friends of media freedom on this way, and all who want to live in democracies based on the rule of law and media freedom.